Hello everyone, and welcome to this first LearnChinese.online video. In this video, we will discover what Chinese language is. We will see the basics of pronunciation and what pinyin is. We will learn how to pronounce the four Chinese towns and we will practice with some exercises. But first of all, you should know that those videos are based on my online Chinese MOOC, LearnChinese.online. In this website, you will find well-structured courses divided in levels according to HSK program. Each level is clearly divided into progressive lessons with clear and comprehensive content about pronunciation, writing and grammar. Each lesson provides a lot of exercises to practice and test to prepare the HSK proficiency test. I say no more, just click on the link in the description below and see for yourself. Now, let's start with a good question. What is Chinese? We are most likely to answer the language spoken in China. But unfortunately, this is not that simple. China is a big country, populated by a lot of different people. In China, there are 56 ethnic groups. They all have their own culture, and most of them have their own language and writing system. The best known communities are Tibetans, Uyghurs, Koreans, yes, there are Koreans living in China who hold Chinese nationality, but they have preserved a strong Korean ethnic identity. Then there are the Mongols, the Hui, who are a Muslim ethnic group. The Hui predominantly speak Chinese while maintaining some Arabic and Persian phrases. In fact, the Hui ethnic group is unique among Chinese ethnic minorities in that it associates with no non-Semitic language. Kazakhs also constitute another ethnic community. In the southwest, there are a lot of small ethnic groups. The three best known ones are the Bai, the Yi, and the Miao. And finally, the Han, they form the largest ethnic group. When we speak about Chinese people, we mostly think about the Han. But we must keep in mind that in China, there are the Chinese people, individuals born in China, and the Han people, who gave their language and culture to China. Chinese and Han are not synonyms. Actually, Chinese language and culture were deeply influenced by other ethnic groups, but the core of the cultural and language heritage comes from the Han. So, when we learn Chinese, we learn the language spoken by the Han people. But the problem is that, even within the Han ethnic group, there is also a large diversity of languages. Here is a map of different Chinese dialects. We can find different classifications of dialect groups 4, 6, 8, 16. We consider that there are mostly 8 different dialect groups among the Han people. But even within the same dialect group, people may not understand each other from one village to another, especially in the south. That's tough. In order to overcome this problem, they need a common language. And this language is Mandarin Chinese, called Putonghua in Chinese, which means general communication speech. Mandarin Chinese refers to Chinese court officials who had to travel and needed to understand each other. It was formerly called Guanhua, speech of officials, then Guoyu, national language, which is still the term used in Taiwan and now it's officially called the Putonghua. It is based as a northern dialect in pink on the map because the capital was in Beijing for the last dynasties. So, if you go to this area, you will understand the native language. Yet, they have a strong accent and a local way of speaking. In other places, Chinese people are all bilingual. They speak their dialect at home and Mandarin Chinese at school, which are like two different languages like English and German, or French and Spanish. In this course, we will learn Mandarin Chinese. I will teach you the spoken language and the writing of characters separately in order to ease the difficulty. Therefore, we will see the lesson about speaking first and then we'll study the writing. First difficulty, Mandarin Chinese writing does not indicate the pronunciation, or very rarely and never precisely. Some Chinese character components indicate sometimes the final of the syllable. 
In Chinese, there is no alphabet, so if I show you this sentence written in Chinese characters, it is impossible to read it. In order to overcome this problem, we use a phonetic transcription called pinyin, which means to spell in Chinese. It is the official phonetic transcription in mainland China adopted since the 1950s. Before, each country had its own transcription according to the pronunciation of the native language English, French, German, and so on. Pinyin is written with the Latin alphabet using a diacritical mark on the syllable called tone, which indicates the intonation of the syllable. We will see this in a few minutes. The problem is, if I never learned Chinese before, I will read this sentence, Wo shi ri ben ren. But it does not read like this. In Mandarin Chinese, we'll say, Wo shi ri ben ren. So, we must keep in mind that pinyin does not read like English. We have to learn how to pronounce it. Pinyin is also used to write Chinese on the computer. You type pinyin and the Chinese character appears. I will make a special video in order to teach you how to do it. Some information to keep in mind. Each Chinese character corresponds to a syllable. Take a look at the last sentence. 我 shi, 日, 本, 人. Chinese is a syllabic language. This is easy. One character one syllable. There is just one exception, and we will see it in lesson 4. Chinese words are composed of one or two syllables. For example, ni, you, hao, to be good, to feel good. Ni hao, hello. A single character has a meaning, but is not always necessarily a word. Sometimes a word is composed of three characters, rarely four. 自行车, bicycle. Good news, all words are invariable, no conjugation, no S for plural, etc. Pinyin and Mandarin Chinese pronunciation. In Mandarin Chinese, each syllable can have four different intonations, called tones, or no intonation. We speak about the four tones of Mandarin Chinese. The first tone is pronounced on a high pitch, ma which means mum. It is called the high tone or the first tone. Repeat after me. Ma. Ma. The second tone is pronounced from middle to high pitch. Ma. Which means hemp. It is called the rising tone or the second tone. Repeat after me. Ma. Ma. The third tone goes down and up again. Ma, which means horse. It is called the low tone or third tone. Repeat after me. Ma. Ma. The fourth tone begins very high and falls very low. Ma, which means to insult. It is called the falling tone or fourth tone. Repeat after me. Ma. Ma. And the same syllable with no intonation. Ma. Which is a particle added at the end of a sentence to form a question. It is called the neutral tone or, much more rarely, the fifth tone. Let's repeat once again the five intonations. Ma, 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 ma. It takes time to master those intonation in listening and speaking, more than several months usually. You need to be patient and practice again and again. If we look at this diagram, you can visualize the four tones of Chinese. The first tone, in pink color, starts and remains very high. Ma. Repeat after me. Ma. Ma. The second tone, in green, doesn't start on the lowest level, but in the middle, 
and rise to the top. Ma? Repeat after me. Ma? Ma? The third tone in blue starts at the down middle pitch, goes down deeply, then rises up. Ma? Repeat after me. Ma? Ma? Note that if a syllable is followed by another syllable, the third tone stays low without going up. Ma li. This is because it is not easy to rise up and to follow with another syllable. Ma li. This is not fluid. And the fourth tone in brown starts very high and goes down very low. Ma. Repeat after me. Ma. Ma. Now let's do some practice. Please write down those syllables, then I will read each of them twice. You'll have to find out if it is the high tone, ma, or the low tone, ma. I repeat, the high tone, ma, and the low tone, ma. Please pause the video, write down those syllables, and start the video again when you are ready. Ok, so are you ready? Let's go! E, e, ma, ma, hao, hao, san, san, wo, wo, ni, ni, pa. Pa, hen, hen, mi, mi, ma, ma. I repeat again. E, ma, hao, san, wo, ni, pa, hen. Mi, ma. Now let's see the correction. E, the first tone, it is very high. E, ma, the third tone, it goes down and then rises up. Ma, hao, the third tone. San, the first tone, very high. Wo, third tone. Ni, third tone. Pa, first tone, very high. Pa, hen, the third tone. Mi, third tone. And ma, very high, so the high tone or first tone. If you've made mistakes, don't worry. This takes time to master. Just do the exercise once again. Now, the same exercise, but with a rising tone, ma and the falling tone, ma. It's a bit trickier. Same as before, please pause the video and write down those syllables, then start again the video. Are you ready? I show you one more time. The rising tone, ma, and the falling tone, ma. Let's go. Zai. Zai. Ma. Ma. Pu, 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 jian, jian, liu, liu, shei, shei, shen, shen, da. Da, hai, hai. I repeat again. Zai, ma, pu, pu, jian, liu, shei, shen, da, hai. 
Now let's see the correction. Zai. The falling tone begins very high and fall down. Ma. The rising tone. Bu. Falling tone. Bu. Rising tone. Jian. Falling tone. Liu. Falling tone. Shei. Rising tone. Shen. Rising tone. Da. Falling tone. And Hai. Rising tone. If you mix the two tones, don't worry, it's a common mistake. Just try to do it again. Now the same exercise, but more difficult with the high tone, ma, and the falling tone, ma. Same as before, please pause the video and write down those syllables, then start again the video. Are you ready? I show you one more time. The high tone, ma, and the falling tone, ma. Let's go. E, e, bu, bu, ke, ke, shi, shi, guan, guan, zuo, zuo, zhong, Chong Tue Tue I repeat again Yi Bu Ke Shi Guan Zuo Chong Tue Now let's see the correction Yi the high tone Bu the falling tone K, falling tone again. Shi, high tone. Guan, high tone. Zuo, falling tone. Zhong, high tone. And Dui, falling tone. It is much harder to make the distinction between the high tone and the falling tone because they start at the same level. So, if you made some mistakes, don't worry, it will come with practice. The hardest for last. You will now have to find out if it is the low tone or the rising tone. Same as before, please pause the video and write down those syllables, then start again the video. Are you ready? I show you one more time. The low tone, ma, and the rising tone, ma. Let's go. Qi. Qi. Ye, ye, may, may, ching, ching, xue, xue, tong, tong, may, may, Guo, guo. I repeat again. Qi, ye, mei, qing, xue, tong, mei, guo. Now let's see the correction. Qi, the low tone, very low. Qi. Same for ye, third tone or low tone. Mei, the rising tone. Qing, low tone. Xue, rising tone. Tong, rising tone. Mei, low tone. And guo, rising tone. If you did it all right, you're a wizard. This is very difficult for a beginner. If you made a lot of errors, don't worry, you can do it again. And it will come slowly but surely. This video is now over. Thank you for watching it to the end. In the next video, we will start to learn our first words in Chinese and make basic sentences. 
See you there.